I heard Chrissy McKay ordered a knuckle sandwich. Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Ali Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit. It's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my music is now available on all the streaming platforms. So make sure you are buying, streaming, downloading, all the cool things you should be doing. And checking out my merch at outfits.art because it is art. It is real art. But now that that self promo is out of the way, um, Chrissy McKay. She's on my list. That's all I gotta say. Bars. Oh, not a flashback. Again. There go Chrissy McKay. I swear that's her, y'all. Yo. Um, hey, Miles. I made flashcards for our presentation. Um, Miles? Hmm? Do you wanna go over our project before class? Oh, don't worry about it. I did my part. We'll talk about it next period. Psst. Miles? We're gonna hang out after piano tonight, right? Y yeah, I think our top secret experiment is ready. Yes, can't wait. See you later, butterfly. Ooh, that's why she's so mad. <gasps> why are you talking to her? She is such a weirdo. She never talks to anyone. She's not weird. She just doesn't talk to you because how you treated her last year. She'd rather have no friends than fake friends like you two. Oh, drag her. Well, you're gonna have to choose. Either you're friends with her or you're friends with us. Lay off, Miles can be friends with whoever he wants. She is cool, she just keeps to herself. We're not friends, we're just, we're. See how he was hiding me from everybody? Trash. He just as trash as Keith, low key. Episode four, I meet the hitman. Hit what? Should I should I be out of here? Should I run? Oh. Oh my god. You're gonna get the cops called on us. Oh shit. Dude, come on, calm down. Miles, please. Let's let's just walk away. Go. Walk away from the drama. Even though he knocked him cold. He out. Miles, wait right there. What is this? You beat people up now? What the hell has gotten into you? I'm still the same Miles. I just grew up a little and realized that this is a shitty world filled with shitty people. Including those who promise to call but never once pick up the phone. How dare you? Why is it all on me? You never called either. I'm not the one who promised. Yes, you did. You're remembering it wrong. Those memories are laced into my brain forever. You are the one who's got it wrong, Gianna. It doesn't matter. If you cared so much, you could have picked up the phone too. Forget it. Forget you. Oh, I'm sure you wish you could. Ha, that's about the only thing you're right about. Well, I guess that's it for us. All because I wanted to stop him from fighting somebody. Wow, kind of wild. But you know, back at my job because I have to work for money. Oh, never mind. We're not working today. We're just here. So he just walks into the party and knocks someone out. Basically. I guess I'm not really surprised. I just thought he only did that in the ring. Ben probably got what was coming to him. He's always been a jerk. But Miles, I don't know what his problem is. One minute he tells me he forgot, the next minute he's saying he wish he could. And then he has the audacity to blame me for not keeping in touch. Maybe in his eyes you are to blame. I'm not. He claimed I was supposed to call. I thought he was supposed to call. It's stupid if you actually think about it. If it's stupid and he really wishes he could forget, then why do you two still care about it so much after all these years? Why not just move on and actually forget each other? I mean, I hardly even remember my friends from when I was a kid. Oh, unless it was more than you're saying. No, 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 no. Who are you trying to fool? I'm just trying to get the record straight, which is that I'm not all to blame. Come on, Drew, I can't fill you in if you're not gonna keep up. She not gonna keep up. She gonna ask questions. Hey, what are these? You never had fried pickles before? They fry pickles now? Me. Damn, I've been missing out. What are you two doing? This 15 minute break turned into 30. Oh, we was working today. 
Drew, there's people waiting for their skates. And Gia, you better get ready for the lunch on Rush. I didn't know we was working. Hey, you should go by the gym later. Around 10 o'clock. Use the back entrance. Uh, no thanks. That sounds sketchy as hell. And I can't tonight anyway. I'm heading back to Sacramento after my shift to visit the parents. Oh, well, I guess I'm not. But why does she say that though? What's, what's going on in the gym at 10 around the back area? Hmm. I really love the new food at Paradise. It's forcing me to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. Did you guys know that they fry pickles now? Because that was news to me. Wow, trying new foods? That's one of your long-term goals, Gia. Congratulations. Have there been any stressors at school that you'd like to talk about? My classes are nothing like I expected. It's only the first week and I'm already studying my ass off every night. But waitressing isn't as bad as I thought. Now that I figured out my skates and Roy said I can design them any way I want. And how's our plan going? Are you having trouble sticking to it? Well, some days are better than others. It's okay, Gia, we all understand. Sometimes when I get anxious, my nerves take over and I get sick just thinking about eating. I've been worried about that freshman 15. You know how they say you gain a few pounds when you first go off to college. It's really important for me to be perfect. And I, I already hate what I see when I look in the mirror. I wish I didn't and I try so hard not to, but I do. My mind takes over and it keeps telling me that I'm not good enough, that I'm not doing enough. Our minds are a very powerful tool and it can play tricks on us every now and again. The version that you see of yourself isn't always the truth. Instead of looking in the mirror and ripping yourself apart, how about you try the opposite? Tell yourself that you're beautiful just the way you are. Say, hey you, I like who I am. Tell yourself that you will overcome this. You are choosing life and because of that, you can become the person you wanna be. How about we all work on that for this week? Speaking positive affirmations to ourselves. I want you to do this every morning, okay Gia? All right, I guess I can do that. Stop being so down on yourself, you're doing great. Now, remember ladies, friends and family night is just a few weeks away. I have lots of fun discussions and activities planned. Anyone who you feel is great support to you is welcome. My husband already took the night off from work. I hope my mom will agree to go. She's not the most supportive. My dad will definitely be there. Um, Daniel, I'm not sure I have anyone, is that okay? We can go together, Jill. I don't think I'll be bringing anyone either. What about your parents? They always wanna be involved. Yeah, too involved. I know my mom calls you like every day to check up on me, but could we keep this friends and family night to ourselves this time? They get weird with this stuff and I don't feel like dealing with it. I respect your boundaries and won't tell your mother about it, but I hope you and Jill find someone, a friend maybe to bring along. The more support you have, the better. Let me bring, what's his name? Uh, my man who's not my man. You know, Miles, forgot his name. Mom, dad, dang, we rich. Oh my God, I miss you guys so much. You have? We miss you too, sweetheart. How was the ride? Not too bad, right? I made us dinner. Are you hungry? Oh, I already ate. Josie and I went to the cafe after group. That sounds great. How's Josie doing? She's lying again. Adora! I'm not lying. I knew this would happen. It's too soon. I'm calling Daniel. Go ahead and call. He'll tell you I've been doing pretty good considering where I was just a year ago. I work hard every day at my recovery. You should be proud, Ma. I ate all my meals today. She's not lying, Adora. I know when she's lying. If she says she ate all her meals, then I believe her. I'm proud of you, Gianna. I just worry. Hasn't Daniel told you that constantly doubting me will only hold me back from progressing? At least promise me that you're keeping up with the plan. Well, cafeteria food sucks just as I expected. But Tony from Paradise always cooks me a special veggie burger to take home for dinner. Does that mean you're liking the job? It's okay for now. Tips are really good. Oh, I almost forgot. How's Miles been? Jen. What? I always like Miles. He made Gia light up like a firefly. I'm just wondering what he's been up to these past few years. I don't think you really want to know, Dad. The new Miles might shock you. Well, I'm sure you two picked up right where you left off. The best of friends? Uh, not exactly. Sorry to interrupt again, but I think I've heard enough of this Miles guy. Get out of our house. What? Keith? Hey baby, I hope it's okay that I stopped over. I really needed to talk to you. It's certainly nice of you to show up, but you better have one hell of an excuse for why you weren't there when she needed you the day she went off to Arcadia. Look, Jen, it's Mr. Moon to you. I know I've been a crappy boyfriend, but I love your daughter, Mr. Moon. 
Then show it or leave her alone so she can find someone who will. Dad, please, I don't need you getting involved. I'm gonna talk to him in my room, we'll be just a minute. And tell him to go home, tell him to go home. Now I have to worry about him too. I've always known that boy was no good for her. Have more faith in our girl. She's smart. She'll realize it eventually and do the right thing. Will she? Cause she keep saying he on 48 hour block and like we on a break. You can't keep showing up everywhere unannounced. You know my dad doesn't like you and I thought I made myself clear that we're on a break. Don't you like the flowers? No, cause we're on a break. No, not really. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. I don't like how we left things. When I walked in on you dancing up on that guy covered in tattoos. Okay, but you, you had, I don't know this, but we know this. He had girls in his room and girls backing it up on the dance floor on him. Shut up. He has a name. You never looked at me the way you were looking at him and I don't like you, that's why. Then I saw how he had his hands all over you. I just lost it, Gia. Is he reading something from a phone? But I shouldn't have reacted how I did and I'm, is he reading off a phone? Seems like someone really needs to get a hold of you. Who is it? Huh? Oh, no one. Let me see. Jeez, Gia, I thought we weren't that type of couple. We don't invade each other's privacy. Asking to see who's been calling you nonstop isn't an invasion of privacy. Why can't you just show me who it is if it's truly no one? Gia, just listen. I'm trying to tell you that I'm sorry, okay, for everything. I'm sorry for yelling at you on Saturday. I'm sorry for not being here for you more. And you better be sorry for calling me a bitch. You called me an asshole first because you were being an asshole and you were being a bitch. <laughs> okay, get out of my house. You're always talking to me like I'm, I'm, I'm a dog and I'm not putting up with it anymore. Either you mean this apology and stop or we will be done. I mean it this time, Keith. Now we're done. So you're giving me another chance? One last chance. Bruh. For real, Gianna? No, no, I'm rejecting the kiss because you got me messed up. Get off me. Just because I'm giving you another chance doesn't mean things are going back the way they were. I still have to focus on classes, so the long distance is probably good for us right now. You can come visit when I'm off, if you call first. Uh-huh, sure. I missed you, baby. Hey, I'm serious about this. And I'm still a little upset about everything, so I don't feel like jumping into bed with you right now. We don't have to do it on the bed. Keith, stop. And he still has the nerve. Whatever, I gotta go anyway. Wait, I'm only in town for a few more hours. Don't you wanna hang out? Maybe catch a movie and take a walk on the beach like we used to? Sorry, babe, I got plans tonight. I'll call you tomorrow. Oh my God, break up with him. Break up with him. I cannot, I will never be treated like this. I packed you some leftovers and a few extra blankets just in case. And I slipped a few extra dollars in your purse just in case. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks, see you next week. Plan to stay the night soon? One day isn't enough, honey. I'll think about it. Love you, sweetheart. Drive safe. Yeah. Oh, they always are nervous, but I'm fine. And I'm breaking up with my man too. You'll see. Oh, where's Chrissy McKay, by the way? Mm. What the hell are you doing? Is Chrissy McKay here? Why are you tearing my room apart? Where is it? Where's what? My ring. I know you took it. Tell me where it is. I have no idea what you're talking about, Chrissy McKay. Give it back, Gia. That ring is important to me. I don't have it. I don't even know what it looks like. You're a thief. I should have known. What the F is that supposed to mean? Like, Chrissy McKay, are you racist? You're the one in my room going through my things. Because you stole from me. I don't want your stupid ring. I didn't even know it existed until you came in here accusing me of stealing it. Just get out and leave me the hell alone. I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. Then, then I'll leave. You'd rather run away than confess? Just like a true thief. Girl, I will push her. Count to 10, Gia. Deep breath. I will push her. Chrissy McKay. I'm going to remove myself from the situation before I do something I regret. You won't get away with this. You'll have to come back and face the consequences eventually. I can't wait to see how dumb you look once you realize I didn't touch a thing of yours. Stupid. Can't stand Chrissy McKay. We not friends and I hope we didn't arrive here together. 
You guys are still open? Oh my God, it's her. Shut up. Hey, butterfly tattoo. Looking for miles? Or looking to get tatted by the best? Piercings are 20% off this week. Uh, well, I don't know. I got in a fight with my roommate and I went out for a walk and ended up here. Interesting. You got plans tonight? No. Please tell me there's something fun to do tonight in this town. I need to take my mind off some things. You should come with us to the gym. Ken, no. Miles wouldn't want her there. Miles doesn't know what he wants, which is why we have to show him. The gym? What is the gym? Okay, count me in. Oh, come on. We don't want to miss the best part. I don't think so. My mama taught me better than to follow some strange men into some weird back alley gyms. We're not strange men. Sheesh, that was uncalled for. Miles would kill us if we let anything happen to you. Huh? He would? Trust us, butterfly tattoo, we got you. Well, just know that I can scream really loud and once my fight or flight kicks in, there's no stopping me. I believe you. I wanna go to the gym. Is this the gym? Is the gym a club? I don't know. Yo, Kendrick. Slash, what's up? Did we miss the hitman? What? Nah, they're just starting now. Um, I really don't think I belong in an establishment where the people are named things like Slash and the hitman. Whoa, you know the drill. First timers have to pay an entrance fee. $10. Or a kiss from the pretty girl will do. Back off, I got her. Y'all know the rules. No betting, no drinking, and any fights that happen out of the ring need to be taken somewhere else. We can't risk getting shut down again. Oh, is this like a boxing ring place? Wild. Wild. Oh! I can't see what's going on. Kendrick Gage, over here! Who is she? Shit. Uh, Gia, let's get closer so you can see. Who was that? Oh my gosh. It took me approximately one minute and 32 seconds to figure out why these strange men dragged me here. Yeah. There he was, standing six foot five, about 210 pounds of hard cold steel. He looked like a superhero, or rather a super villain, wearing his ink-like armor. His fists clenched so tight I thought they were about to burst. I could feel his power all the way over here. He seemed scarily comfortable in the rain. A frigid, cocky smile laced his lips that said, I could win this with my eyes closed and hands tied behind my back. For the first time in my life, I was speechless. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Miles Madden is the hitman. Oh, that's why he knocked that man out, like quick. That's exactly why he knocked him dead out. Like at the party, you remember. So this is why Miles don't give a damn and why he not scared of nobody. Cause he can knock somebody out instantly. Okay, it makes sense. Wow, okay. Do you think he's gonna get mad when I find out that he's the hitman and he been, you know, popping people? I don't know. But if you enjoyed this video and want more episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know about this tea because it is crazy. New stuff is happening. It's just wild. And also let me know if you like Chrissy McKay. Are you on Chrissy McKay team? Or are you on my team? Because I don't like Chrissy McKay no more and I hope we get in a fight. But anyways, check out my music and merch. Everything is down in the description. The merch is amazing. The music is too. We'd love to see it. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.